Walsh here from Thinline Defense. Today I'm bringing you a review of the Mantis X10 Elite training system. Before we get to that, I want to thank all of our Patreon supporters. This channel isn't monetized in any way, and you are what makes these reviews possible. I also want to thank everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes to all of our content. You're what makes this fun for me, and I enjoy getting to interact with you, so please keep it up. So let's get to this review. So what is the Mantis X10 Elite? The Mantis is a small device that can be placed on your pistol, rifle, shotgun, or even a large caliber, all via a Picatinny rail. The device measures micro-movements and then translates those movements into corrections in your form and stance that you can understand. Such as if the gun pulls to one side, it may say you have too much or too little trigger finger. The app has a ton of different drills that I want to show you. It even has super cool courses that tailor and challenge your daily training. Mantis even sends you a completion patch if you've got the skills to complete it all. I'll show you. It's awesome. But first, let's take a look at what exactly comes in the box. So as you can see, I just got the box here out of the mail. So let's see what we have in here. Oh wow. So the Mantis package looks really nice. Let's go ahead and pull it out of here if I can figure out how to fish it out of here. There we go. I'm really surprised and how simple and easy this packaging is. It looks really nice. Let's see what's on the inside here. Oh, and then we have this nice inner box here with the nice Mantis logo on it. All right, let's just drop this. Here we are. And here's a cool little information card that they include with it. And oh, wow, take a look at this. So this is the actual little pouch that everything comes in. I'm really impressed by this. Is there anything else in here? Uh, no, just look at this nice packaging. It looks like that's all there is. Everything seems to come in this pouch, so we can just scoot this over here for now. So let's take a look at what all comes inside of here. I'm really interested to see it all. Oh, wow, okay, so there's all kinds of stuff in here. So what is, exactly is this then? Okay, so, all right, I know now. So this is the piece that allows you to connect it around the barrel of a shotgun or a rifle. So if you don't have a Picatinny rail, you can just put it around the barrel and then you'd have a Picatinny rail on the top to connect the Mantis on. That's really, that's really pretty cool. All right, so then, so then this is the actual Mantis device. Now this is really cool because it's, it's so small and it just goes on the Picatinny rail of, you can just use this lever here to lock it in and out of position on the rail. So it makes it really easy to remove or install. All you have to do is just line up the edges here with the front rail, the Picatinny rail, and then you just slide it on. I found it's easy if you slide it on and then lower the lever to then kind of lock it in place. Sometimes it can be a bit of a bear. There we go. There. See? Pretty awesome. Oh, and we also have this sticker here. Always need stickers. And what is? What are these? Oh, okay. So these are the pads that you would use around the actual barrel holder in order to get a secure fit. So yeah, we'll need those later. Oh, and then we have the USB charger. How did, how did this connect in here? I didn't notice. Let's see. Is it on the front or the back? Oh, okay. So it's right here where you connect in the USB charger, and it's just connected via regular USB. And what do we have here? What is, what is this? It looks like it says something about Picatinny rail. Let's take a look at what's in here. Okay. Well, included in here is yet another cleaning cloth. We always need more cleaning cloths. And then we have... This, ah, okay, so this is a Picatinny rail that can be connected on the bottom of your magazine. So in case you have a gun that doesn't have a Picatinny rail, you can actually attach the Mantis onto the bottom of the magazine to make it work. So this makes it a lot simpler, so very cool. Oh, and last but not least, we have all the hardware you would need to connect the Picatinny barrel attachment on. So if you need the hardware and tools, it all comes in this simple pouch. So how do we use it? It's super easy. Just download the Mantis app on your phone from the Google Play or iTunes store and follow the app instructions to get it all set up. The app has four different options at the bottom. Training, which puts you right into the training options, which we'll cover. History, which lets you go back and look at all your previous shots and analyze them. Groups, which actually shows you how to add your friend and see how they're doing and compare your stats to theirs. This was cool for me to see a real shooter and understand the kind of numbers that I need to be at to be at that level. Then you have the settings where you select if the device is on a pistol or a rifle, which hand you use, the shot detection mode, which can be in three different methods. Dry fire, which is just using snap caps or an unloaded firearm. You can do CO2 mode, which is basically training with airsoft. And then you can do live fire with real ammo. Then you just select which way you have the device placed and how it is oriented. For instance, ours is placed forward and on the bottom. 
I also like to have my audio settings to tell me my score, so I'm not constantly looking at the app every shot to know if I got a 12. Now I want to go over each of the different drills, how they work, and if there are any small nuances I encountered with each drill, and then talk pros and cons overall of using the Mantis. When you first start the Mantis X app, it starts you in the Mantis X introduction course, where it suggests what you should do to familiarize yourself with the functions and features of the app. As anyone new to the Mantis, I highly recommend following those suggestions at the beginning to familiarize yourself with them all. But for the sake of this review, we're going to skip that and just run top down through all of the drills. The first few drills are X10 only, and the first one is the holster draw analysis. For this, the app has you place the firearm in a holster, and each time the buzzer goes off, you draw, 1. fire 3. one shot, then reholster to prep it for the next shot. When you run the drill, it gives you two options to see your results that you can bounce back and forth from. The first one breaks down your draw into segments that shows the time you take at each piece. Then it shows you how long it took you to grip the gun, how long it took you to pull the gun out of the holster, how long it took till it was horizontal, how long till it was on target, and how long it took you to break the shot. Then it puts these times together and gives you the overall time for each shot. The other screen tracks the muzzle as it moves between the different stages. This thing is amazing at breaking down why you were slow and exactly where you were slow. I was taking a lot of time getting my grip correct and I didn't even realize it and the app immediately showed me my error. I wasn't doing it consciously so it was hard for me to recognize how much extra time I was really spending on my grip. The holster draw analysis can definitely be used to make your draw more efficient and faster by analyzing the data. In using dry fire, I did have a few instances where the app didn't want to read my draw if I went way too fast. It didn't seem to know what to do when my draw was firing under an eighth of a second. The numbers would get a little wonky. This wasn't my favorite app for dry fire because as I got faster than the app, it started to just ignore me. The next X10 drill is the recoil meter. Now this is live fire only won't even let you use CO2, which is a little frustrating. The recoil meter is designed to track your muzzle as you make consecutive shots to show you if your muzzle is rising and falling directly where you want it to. It shows you your recovery time between shots, muzzle rise, recoil width, and recoil angle. The recoil angle is particularly useful if you are putting too much or true, too little pressure on the firearm and if you are maintaining that pressure from shot to shot. I was a little frustrated with the recoil meter because it has a particular cadence it wants you to run, but it doesn't show you that anywhere. If you're going ultra fast, it will miss a few shots. But if you're at a nice half second cadence between shots, it'll track everything and show you how, are you, how you are rising and falling without missing a beat. So when you are crazy good, not me, you, you may not be able to see every shot. Now we get into the standard Mantis training. This is the first open training and my go-to for learning. This training is just free range shooting with no time limit and no set number of shots. Just turn it on and get to work. Open training starts with a center circle that shows you how your shots are deviating and what could be causing it. The goal is to get above a 90 and a 95 or over is considered a bullseye. As shots are made, red bars appear to show you where your shots went wrong and what you can do to fix your problems. The next screen shows you your movement and lets you see if you are moving during the hold or if you are moving during the actual trigger press. The last screen tracks the muzzle as you make your trigger press. The blue line represents while you were aiming, the yellow while the trigger is being pulled, and the red is after the shot breaks. Then it has an X to show where the gun was pointed when the shot actually broke. This feature is dry fire heaven. In just the first half hour, 91. I diagnosed and corrected very simple but hard to recognize issues. I wasn't using 91. enough trigger finger and I was also pushing the gun forward with my support hand. The app helped me work with my form and technique to hold 94. the pistol properly. And I was able to show improvement right on the range. I had no issues with this feature in the app and it is my absolute favorite. As a training aid, I think I could take pretty much anyone and diagnose their shooting form to get them shooting accurately and on target pretty quickly using this tool. It is my go-to for a daily trainer on shot technique. For live fire and CO2 usage, I didn't have any issues with shots not being detected and all of the dry fire techniques translated right over into the live fire sessions. The scores of the dry firing were very similar to the live fire shots with a marked increase in accuracy. 
and confidence. The next training is the shot timer. Without spending too much time, this is exactly the same as open training, but it also shows you the time in between shots. As I mostly do dry fire, I don't focus on this one too much, as I always have to reset the gun in some way. In CO2 mode, the Mantis tracked every shot and even showed me some really short split times. This kind of surprised me as the Mantis program then later struggled in modes doing the same function. Then you have the Mantis benchmark. This is the same as time shots as it records your time between shots and all of your shot data, but it only has you take 10 shots. This is great to see how you're improving over time. I don't really use it though as open training gives you a session average similar to this benchmark but you may want to see this for split times. The training function the same across all modes. I think it's because it's about slow, intentional shooting, which is where the Mantis does fantastic. The next drill is the timed benchmark. Here you fire five shots as quickly as possible and it tracks your score, time between shots, and total time. It tracks the same data as open training and shot timer mentioned earlier. For dry firing, this one isn't very useful as there is a reset required between most shots so I couldn't really use it. The next one is fun, compressed surprise break. Here you begin with the firearm on target and each time the buzzer goes off, you fire one shot as quickly as you can and then reset and prepare for the next shot. This gives you all the same scoring and shot tracking as the other modes, but adds a small level of stress and challenge to get the shot off quickly. Where I was once 95s consistently, this mode brought me back down to earth with an average of an 80. Live fire, dry fire, or CO2, I had no issues with this mode, and it was an absolute blast. You really get to start building the techniques of accuracy at speed. The next two training exercises, primary hand only and support hand only, test your ability to shoot the gun using only one hand, obviously. This drill is not timed, but it helps you work a good trigger squeeze with only using one hand. I was oddly good with my untrained support hand. I found that super interesting, but had no issues at all through any of the modes. This training using one arm was especially insightful and shooting with one hand is quite different than shooting with two. Next are the reload drills and there are three of them. Reload in battery where the slide is already forward, reload out of battery where you also have to engage the slide, and tactical reload. First, let's look at reload in battery. Here you start with the slide forward and a new magazine ready. When the timer goes off, you drop the magazine and insert and fire one shot. For reload out of battery, the slide is back, so when the buzzer sounds, you drop the magazine and index the new slide, send the slide forward, and then take the shot. The last reload, tactical reload, is a little confusing as I don't understand why you would need to do this at speed. Given the inherent nature of a tactical reload, you should have the time to reload, or you would be just doing one of the reloads I mentioned just a moment ago. This drill also has you take a shot after, which is a pretty bad training scar. I don't recommend training this over time, and I certainly don't recommend training your subconscious to want to take a shot after every reload. Either way, it's the same as the in-battery training where the slide is forward and you have a magazine ready. And instead of the, dropping the magazine, though, you retain the magazine, so you do a magazine swap and then re-index the old magazine, and then take a shot. Again, there are some better ways to do this drill, but I understand the app needs to shop to show completion. Now I've done a lot of reload training and actually really enjoy working reloads because you get to move super fast and it's not ultra precise. I had nothing but fits with the Mantis while I was doing dry fire. It wouldn't recognize my shots and it seemed like I was moving faster than it thought was possible. It became frustrating and I went to a different training method when doing dry fire reloads. It was just obnoxious. In CO2 and live fire mode, I had the same problems as with dry fire. The Mantis didn't want to read anything if I was going at full tilt. I would usually have to fire a second shot for the Mantis to recognize my round as being complete. Another big issue with this mode is it's only one shot. So you shoot one and then reset, and by the time you reset and the buzzer goes off again, and then you reset again, it, it's, it's really quite frustrating. Ooh, hostage take your drills. Okay, this one is super fun. So for this, they ask you to hang a post-it note or a target on the wall. When the buzzer sounds, you have to draw and fire, but you also have to meet a minimum part time and minimum score to save the hostage. This is awesome to work on bringing all of your technique and speed together at once. I did just find it beginner with what seemed like an eternity of four seconds to save the hostages, so I foolishly jumped straight into the advanced, and taking a high scoring shot in less than 1.7 seconds requires some serious skill. You need to try this though. 
It's super fun. I didn't have any issues with dry, live, or CO2 with the app working properly for this drill. It is really one of my favorites and it really works at honing your skills at speed. The last training is cadence. This drill gives you the option of a time interval like a metronome type sound. So if you select the one second cadence drill, there's a tone that plays every one second to show you when you should be shooting while also tracking all of your shots. In dry fire, this is pretty useless as you can't reset fast enough to meet the cadence. For CO2 and live fire, you often can't hear the cadence over the gunfire. So while this is kind of a smart idea, it just doesn't work. Maybe if I had my phone connected via Bluetooth or something? I don't know, I had to figure that out. So the last one is a big one, and I definitely saved the most fun for last. The last area are courses. Now, these are awesome, because you may look at all this training we just talked about and go, uh, so what is the best to do? And the course gives you exactly that. The courses are broken down into basic, advanced, and elite. When you start the course, it'll show you your challenges to progress, such as shoot 20 shots for four consecutive days, or give you other daily challenges you have to complete to move forward in the course, like shooting a number of shots with a score above 95, or having a primary and offhand shooting score above 75. There are lots more, but I don't want to ruin this for you. It's super fun. I also found this to be super motivating to remind myself to work the Manus every day. Now I'm a firm believer in consistency over intensity and the app motivates you to work each day to get better and to just stay with it. And the best part, at the end of each course, Mantis actually sends you a patch to show off that you've completed the course. I'm at the basic course getting my butt handed to me. So if you have one of those elite marksman course patches, I want to see it and you better show me down in the comments. So pros and cons. The product is amazing at what it does and during the COVID scare, you're gonna get the most realistic training you can without ammo. It actually tells you if you're not setting your wrist properly and gives you hints as to issues that you will see out on the range. From a training standpoint, this is fantastic. If you are shooting low left, this will tell you exactly what you are doing wrong. Cons, it stinks that I couldn't get some of the modes to read the shots correctly. I messed with the shot troubleshooter, but I didn't really make any headway. It always sort of kind of not working right if I shoot too fast, or if I was doing a fast moving drill like a reload, it would just lose track of what I was doing. I also wish it was better on how to stop doing a particular bad habit. It always says a small tip, but it really could take it to the next level by including a video or link on how to work the issue. I hope this review was helpful and showed you all of the features and different drills that Mantis helps you with. And while you can do all these drills at home, just like I initially did in my training, you can't see the micro errors you're making. And if you don't correct them early, they become much harder to break later. As always, thanks for watching and please consider becoming a Patreon member to support reviews like these in the future and for other exclusive content. And also please consider subscribing to our channel to see more reviews like this. That's it, out.